We are getting ready to see some colder weather following last night's thunderstorms. And Cheetah is breaking down some of the terms you'll be hearing. Wintry mix. It's a term we use to talk about the combination of several kinds of winter precipitation. And if you've ever wondered why we sometimes see that mix rather than just snow, there are several factors. The most important one is temperature, and you can think about it like layers in a cake. At the base, we're talking about surface layer temperatures. If they're at or below freezing, it can lead to snow, freezing rain, and sleet. If the surface temperatures stay above freezing, you're more likely to just get rain or freezing rain. The next layer of temperatures are just above the surface. If that layer is above freezing, that warm layer can melt any freezing precipitation as it heads towards the ground, leaving you with a combo of sleet or freezing rain. And finally, the temperatures aloft in the cloud layer play a huge factor in what we end up seeing. Typically, air temperatures in that upper layer must be at least 10 degrees below freezing when the precipitation process begins to create ice. And that mix of winter precipitation can create a real mess. Sleet or tiny pellets of ice that pings off your windows when it hits. If it sticks, it'll create a crunchy icy layer on the ground. Freezing rain is rain that stays in liquid form until it strikes a below freezing surface where it sticks and freezes. It can leave a glazed sheet of ice on everything from trees to cars. And then there's grapple, which is sometimes called soft hail. It's precipitation that forms when there are above freezing temps at the ground le level. But super cooled conditions in the air. Water droplets collect and freeze on falling snowflakes, creating very small balls of crisp, opaque ice. And all of those make up our wintry mix.